Welcome back to 1011 News at Noon. Joining us now is Nadia Postek from Capri Humane Society, and we have Willow here. Come here, baby. Yeah. Can you see with me? <laughs> so we have Willow. <laughs> so cute. She is very cute. She is a four-month-old border collie. She came to us because um, her mom and dad were not fixed and they had an accidental litter. The owners unfortunately can rehome all of them on their own, so we got seven uh, puppies in from oh. this litter. <laughs> I think she's tired after today. But um, so she's available for adoption. Some of her siblings have already been adopted. Some are still waiting to go up for adoption, but Willow's okay. available today. She is a border collie, and despite her laying down now, she does have a lot of energy. We were running and zooming um, all over the place this morning. So she does have a lot of energy, and they're also very smart dogs. So mm. something to keep in mm. mind is um, making sure, you know, you're getting her runs in. She doesn't really walk places. She runs places. Um, and then just some mental stimulation as well. Yeah. Sounds like she'd be a good dog for an active family, you know, if they're yeah. out and about going on walks or getting her out to play or have some kids that'll play fetch. I'm sure an intelligent dog like that would catch on real quick. Yeah, yeah, for sure. She uh, she does very well with other dogs. We do recommend when they first came in, they were pretty um, under socialized. So if there's okay. another dog in the house that's confident, um, it, w it would really benefit her. And just due to her breed, we are recommending kids just six years and older since mm -hmm. with that herding instinct, sometimes they yeah. can nip. So we just want to keep everyone safe in the family um, and like I said it's just a natural instinct but she yeah. is one that definitely a big backyard and active family would really benefit her be good yeah. and then you guys have a busy weekend coming up too it's the tails or tails and treats trunk or treat yes. on Saturday correct? yes so we have our tails and treats event Saturday at the pilot pet adoption center from 4 to 7 okay so registration for that right now is $8 online and $10 walk up Adults are free, so you're looking at, you know, the kids and the, the dogs as well, registration-wise. But we'll have some vendors, food trucks, um, a bounce house, a costume contest for the dogs. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot going on, um, and it's always fun to see. I mean, some of the dog costumes are so extravagant. They're oh, so fun. Okay. A lot of people put a lot of time into it. So yeah, yeah, and it looks so far like you have a beautiful day for it, so it'll be a great weekend to get out. Oh, yep, she's just taking a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Willow. Are you awake? Nope. She's, she's, <laughs> she is she's tired. so cute though. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know that's always a really fun event for folks to come down and hopefully it helps um, raise a little bit of awareness of how many pets you guys have available for adoption. Yes, yeah, for sure. And I know Willow would definitely love to come and, you know, with her new family and her outfit, mm -hmm. um, but it is a really fun event and uh, all the proceeds go to us. So um, that's also great. Yes. All right. Well, Nadia, thank you very much for being here. There she is. Oh, we'll be right back after the break with another check of Carmela's forecast.